So uh, there is now a lot of experience of uh, a use of enzyme replacement therapy in type 3 Gaucher disease. And that was what my presentation was at the world meeting. And we examine uh, the data in the International Gaucher Registry, which has been operational for the last 30 years, uh, involving nearly 7,000 uh, individuals from around the world. And what we did was assemble data on children with type 1 Gaucher disease and type 3 Gaucher disease who started treatment before the age of 18. And we found that children with type 3 Gaucher disease presented the earliest by one and a half years of age with massive enlargement of the spleen uh, up to 50 multiples of normal as well as enlargement of the liver up to uh, two multiples of normal. Those, those are very significant organomegaly in a little baby barely two years old. It is unsustainable, it causes anemia, it causes bleeding complications. So we assembled a cohort that has never been assembled before. Almost 200 uh, uh, children with type 3 Gaucher disease. As a comparator, we also assembled a cohort of children with type 1 Gaucher disease who presented with a more severe type of type 1 Gaucher disease. And in these children, the mean age of presentation was around five years. Uh, and they too had enlarged liver and spleen and low blood counts, but not as severe as type 3 Gaucher disease. What was remarkable and gratifying for me is that tiny children with type 3 Gaucher disease presenting by 1.9 years of age very rapidly started enzyme replacement therapy by the time they were uh, uh, only a few months later, approximately two years uh, at the age of two years. So that is good. There was no long delay between diagnosis and start of treatment. In contrast, in children with type 1 Gaucher disease, the mean age of diagnosis was 5.5 years and the start of treatment was 7.7 .7 years. And so there is some work that we have to do. But what we did in our study, uh, Jim, is to we, we looked at uh, long, short term over the first two years and long term outcomes for up to 15 years of enzyme replacement therapy. There has never been an opportunity to look at such long-term outcomes. And what we find, found both in type 1 and type 3 Gaucher disease, there were big improvements in terms of reversal of anemia, thrombocytopenia, reversal of splenomegaly and hepatomegaly. And after the the first two years of rapid improvement, over the next 15 years those improvements continued uh, in, a, in an incremental manner. And other studies uh, like this from the ICGG registry have shown there, was an, there is a significant improvement in survival such that 92% uh, of children are alive at age 5 which was never possible before enzyme therapy, and 78% of children were alive at uh, 10 years of uh, age. That is a huge improvement in survival, as well as improved reversal of disease manifestations. In fact, we found that children with type 3 Gaucher disease on enzyme replacement therapy on certain parameters had even better response than children with type 1 Gaucher disease. But overall, the, there was a parallel improvement in terms of reversal of the disease with regard to hepatosplenomegaly and a reversal of anemia and thrombocytopenia.